everyone, it's Holly Wright with Country Roads Family Fun Farm and I am showing you today one of the ways that we take care of our fields. We get asked a lot of questions about how we control pests in the sunflower field and to a certain extent you're going to always have pests whether it be deer or insects in a, in a pasture that's 12 acres wide, you're, you're just going to have some no matter what you do. But today I'm going to show you something very exciting, which is how we use ladybugs to control pest populations with the sunflowers. A lot of people don't know this, but sunflowers are a veritable battleground. Aphids love sunflowers. Aphids are little tiny creatures that live on sunflowers and they love to suck the juice right out of the leaves, which of course is the main place where the sunflower produces all of its food and all of its, all of its photosynthesis. So when the aphid drinks the juices out of the leaves, it kills the plant. But how do you get rid of aphids? Well, you could spray chemicals on the field, but those chemicals also get rid of the pollinators, the bumblebees and the butterflies that help pollinate the sunflowers. So it's not a good idea to do that unless it's just an absolute emergency. So what do we do in the meantime? We use ladybugs. Why? Because ladybugs eat aphids. Ladybugs love to go around the plant and eat all the little aphids, which protect our sunflowers from harm and help make them healthier plants. Be thinking to yourself, well, that's great, but where am I going to get a bunch of ladybugs? Well, did you know that you can actually order thousands of ladybugs at a time? It's a wonderful thing called the internet. This box of ladybugs, I believe, came from, Let's see what does the paper say here? Just says ladybugs. I believe maybe Ladybug Lore is the company that I ordered them from. Anyway, they ship them, and in one day, you get a bag of 3,000 live ladybugs, which looks like this. And you can see they're all moving. They want out, but they're not harmed at all. They were shipped in a box with air holes, and, you know, they got sunshine. And so I think their trip was relatively comfortable. And I think these 3,000 ladybugs cost us $30, maybe, which is a pretty good price considering it's a totally organic way to care for the field. All right, I have three helpers here with me to help release the ladybugs. Layton, can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Apparently he's busy. Lillian, can you say hi? Joa, can you say hi? All right, so all we have to do now is take the scissors. I have the bag of live ladybugs, and all I have to do is snip a little hole in the bag without hurting the ladybugs, which that's kind of the hard part. And then once I do that, I'm going to take the bag over to the sunflowers, and I'm going to just let the ladybugs out because it's not going to be hard to convince them to leave the bag. They don't want to be in there any longer than they have to be. So let's get started. And as you can see, the ladybugs are just crawling out. I have them out here in the field. I am covered with ladybugs, but it's so cute. For such tiny little insects, they can do so much good. And this can be done even in your own garden. If you're looking to find organic ways to get rid of pests in your backyard garden, go order yourself some ladybugs. Set them free. Let them do their thing.